Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Today in the Bible Bistro, we're studying Psalm 38 all this week, Psalm 38, verses 1 through 22. So it's kind of a big bite for us. We've been trying to, I've been trying to, you know, divide up these psalms into smaller chunks. But I think we're going to take this one as is. This is a psalm of David. We have that in the introduction there. It is for commemoration. So we don't know what commemoration it's for. If it's just for David's commemoration of the struggles that he experienced in life. But this is a beautiful psalm. It's constructed on three different prayers. We begin with prayer in verse 1, and then we have inserted between the prayers these confessions. We have three different confessions, recognition of sin, confession of sin, confession of faith. Those are the confessions. There are three of them. They're interspersed in between the prayers. And then we have a description of his condition. So not only do we have confession and recognition of sin and confession of faith, but we also have a description of the trouble that he was having. So he's very specific about what's going on with him and why he's praying. So I hope you'll follow along this week as we make our way through this psalm. And we're going to begin today with verses 1 through 4. So if you have your Bible, why don't you open up there to Psalm 38, and I'm going to read for us verses 1 through 4. David writes, O Lord, rebuke me not in thy wrath, Neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure. For thine arrows stick fast in me. Thy hand presses me sore. There is no soundness in my flesh because of thine anger. Neither is there any rest in my bones because of my sin. For mine iniquities are gone over my head. As a heavy burden, they are too heavy for me. So we begin with this prayer, O Lord, rebuke me not. Now, we have each prayer beginning with that kind of plea. O Lord, rebuke me not, begins the prayer here. In verse 9, it's, Lord, all my desire is before thee. And then at the end of the psalm in verse 21, we have, forsake me not, O Lord. So three different prayers begin very much in the same way, using the Lord's name. Here we have, O Lord, rebuke me not in thy wrath, neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure. So you see right away that David is, he's aware that that there's something wrong, there's something amiss, there's some broken part uh, in the structure of his relationship with God. So he's he says there's, there's wrath, there's hot displeasure, his arrows stick fast in David, for thine arrows stick fast in me, thy hand presses me sore. There's no soundness in my flesh because of thine anger. Now, this idea of of soundness of flesh is going to come up several times because we're going to see that David is specifically mentioning this. There's some illness that has come upon him, and so he sees God's hand pressing against him because of, well, we're told here in verse 3, it's because of his sin. So here's the first confession. Neither is there any rest in my bones because of my sin. Verse 4, my iniquities are gone over my head. As a heavy burden, they are too heavy for me. Of course they are. Why would you think that you could you can handle such a thing? Friend, do you have anyone that you can confess to? I'm not talking about a confessor, you know, in a professional sense, but I'm talking about a friend or just in your prayer closet to the Lord. Do you have someone that you can confess to? Confession, as they say, is good for the soul. Boy, is that the truth. And David shows us that right here. Because when he comes to this time and he confesses, he comes right out and says it. My sin, my iniquities. All of this, the wrath, the hot displeasure, the arrows, the hand, the anger of the Lord, it's all because of sin. And now David recognizes that. Mine iniquities are gone over my head. They're too heavy for me. So he confesses that, and he, he also g- humbles himself before the Lord and says, I can't handle it on my own. This is a good place to be. This is a real good place to be. 
when you come to the place where you recognize that you can't handle your sin and you can't handle not confessing your sin, and so you come to the Lord and just lay it all out before Him. That's exactly what we have here. It's a good place to be. Join me tomorrow. We're going to look at 5 through 8, and we're going to continue with this idea of confession and recognition and then look at some of the um, some of the trouble that David is under. And so we'll pick that up tomorrow. So join me tomorrow here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.